don't like to say badass, but badass woman. Yes, badass woman. Say it again. Oh. Es fue el que me emborrachó, así que ah, fue en culpa de Cristian. Hello everyone and welcome to Latin X Now, where we examine the biggest stories in the entertainment world through the Latin lens. I'm Christian Acasante. I'm joined by Claudia Vergara, Nastasha Bolivar, and our LA correspondent Denise Rodriguez. And as you can see, we're in LA. Yes, yes we're getting ready for the Latin AMAs, and E News graciously let us use their E Daily pop set. So thank you so much, thank E News. You. Yes. 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 I don't know about you guys. Uh, <laughs> All right, well we've got Can't lots to discuss today, so let's jump right into the headlines. Rosalia reveals her dream collab and it's a surprise to a lot of people. We're backstage at the Latin AMAs in Los Angeles with many star confessions. Singer-songwriter Emilia will be here with us talking about her songs and her upcoming performance. And we'll tell you all you really need to know about the Latin AMAs, all this and much more on Latin X Now. Hmm. Elton John's new memoir, Me, was released, and you know, it's first and only autobiography that he's got. Now, the music icon reveals the truth about his extraordinary life and even opens up about his relationship with the late singer Michael Jackson. Elton was friends with Michael for a very long time and claims that as he watched the pop star grow, he noticed that he also lost touch with reality. Now, Elton writes, God knows what was going on in his head and God knows what prescription drugs he was being pumped full of. But every time I saw him in his later years, I came away thinking the poor guy had totally lost his marbles. Mm -hmm. Now, I don't mean that in the lighthearted way. He was genuinely mentally ill, a disturbing person to be around. It was incredibly sad. Now, in the memoir, Elton describes a dinner where he what night he once threw, which he invited Michael to. And during the dinner, Elton claims that Michael wouldn't eat anything, so he dismissed himself. And later, he was found with Elton's housekeeper and her 11-year-old son. Now, John wrote, for whatever reason, he couldn't seem to cope with adult company at all. Now, what do we think of you know such a big star like Elton speaking on about another huge star like Michael Jackson in this way? Hmm. I mean, usually we would think, hey, that's a no-no. You're not supposed to do that. It's kind of like a code within celebrities, like, you know, the private life. I think he, we've been seeing recently, Elton John, there's been a lot of stuff coming about him, you know, his autobiography, mm -hmm. this memoir, like a movie, like... So I feel, and, and on top of that, we already know Elton John to be a very blunt guy, someone who's always speaking kind of truths. Um, in this case, I also feel that he's probably getting to an age, and I don't want to say he's old because he's not, no. but he's mature where I think he has no, I mean, in Spanish filter. you say, yeah, yeah especially no pelos en la lengua, that means no filter. And I think that's where he's at. And I don't, I don't mind that he's talking about Michael Jackson like this because this is something that sometimes with what's been happening around Michael Jackson, a lot of people like to like kind of shh, shh, shh. These are problems, hide it, let's sweep it under the rug kind of ordeal because he's, you know, he's passed mm -hmm. away. So I like that he's coming out because he is focusing and not making fun of him. I think he's saying like, he was actually hmm. mentally That's ill. I don't know, it makes me sad. Honestly, just hearing what he has to say and I feel like he's not here. So leave him alone. Just let him rest in peace. I, I just feel so sad because I'm a huge Michael Jackson fan. So when I hear those things, I'm just like, let him rest in peace. He's not here. He can't defend himself. I don't and know. I agree with you because like, I think the same thing. First of all, he's not here, so he can't he say, like defend himself yeah. or say anything. And number two, it's like, if you want to say things, we've talked about this before. If you are going to say things, you can say whatever you want about you. But it's really like not your position to be saying things about other celebrities. Like exactly. it's not your place. Especially if yeah. it's not affecting you. It's not like he's you're, very you know harsh. I mean? yeah, it's very yeah. harsh. Yeah. Like, I guess Allison has always been that way. You know, he's uh, recently said that George Michael was too stubborn to seek uh, help for drug addiction. <laughs> that Madonna had one of the worst songs. I will say oh it's interesting God. that he says that Michael Jackson couldn't cope with adult company. But he was best friends with Elizabeth Taylor. Taylor, who's 26 years older than him. So there's also a little bit of, you know, yeah. exactly. Notes, but, you know, again, we're not privy to that luxurious world of Elton John dinner. No, so, like, yeah. I don't mind all this talking sometimes. Yeah, yeah, oh, no, yeah, she's living like, for it. Whatever you want about uh, me, just invite me. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> all right, guys, I love that. I love that. All right, guys, if you've seen Avengers Endgame, then you know about the epic battle scene with all the female superheroes uniting to protect, you know, Spider-Man from Thanos. You guys remember mm -hmm. that scene? Well, that scene alone <laughs> might have motivated Marvel fans to push for an all-women Marvel movie. However, not just 
most Marvel fans, though. You know, even the stars from the franchise are eager to see that possibility come to life. Scarlett Johansson, uh, who's of course Black Widow, is getting involved. They're in an interview with uh, Variety, the Black Widow star is pushing for such a film, you know, despite her character's fate in Endgame. Spoiler alert. <laughs> yeah. Now she says, I don't know what my future in that world. Obviously, it's a little more opaque for my character, but that group of actresses is so incredibly powerful. And when they come together, it's explosive and unstoppable. So yes, I'm pushing for that. I think audiences want it, and I'm definitely one of them. Yeah. All right, so what do we think of an all-female Marvel film? Guys, I love it. I am automatically <laughs> thinking, here for it. I'm here for it. I think of the little girl when they go to the movies and they're gonna see this like all woman cast and it's like I mean I love princesses <laughs> but I'm excited for this if this happens. You know it's true I didn't even think about that as little girls we usually got the Barbies mm -hmm. and like you know showing like the body's supposed to be this way now we're gonna get these superhero <laughs> women that's not just about the physical it's about the mind it's about the yeah. power and the strength that we have as women you know I was thinking about this I'm totally down for it as well my thing is when I thought about you know Ocean's 11, 12, 13, all of them, they made the girl <laughs> How versions many of are it. They? It's a lot. Yeah, several. I a think lot. yeah. Three, and I think, three. I'm, I'm not sure, but I think it is three. <laughs> they came out. The Oceans is known to be guy cast. Yeah. They did a female version of it. They had Rihanna, Sandra she did Bullock, it, yeah. um, Anne Hathaway. We had all these yeah. women in it. But my thing is, they got a lot of bad feed. Like, yeah. if the reviews weren't too good. And my thing is, because I don't feel they take us too seriously. They want to do it just to kind of check off a mark of saying, mm. we did a women's movie, but I think they should really focus on writing a good script, a good storyline, because if not, it's kind of just a check mark. It's yeah, perhaps, because Ocean's really 8 was not good, yeah. Ghostbusters all-female was not good, so you're right, they need a good script. They do, yeah, they yeah, need to sure. focus on that side. Well, listen, Marvel is not even my thing. I, th I don't think I've even watched one Marvel movie. It is his, for sure. <laughs> the honest But the thing. only thing is, I am, of course, here for it, too, and what you said is very true. For little girls, they were usually, like, race to see like princesses like yeah. perfect things and like beautiful proper ladies and now seeing these like strong bad, I don't powerful. know if I can say badass but badass women yes, badass yeah. 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 say it again say it again now I will say I will say Captain Marvel was I awesome. think just a perfect example yeah. of you know all female driven you know like female empowerment and that was that in the box office 1.1 billion dollars exactly. and Robert Downey Jr. hosted a lunch for the female Marvel heroes as well and the, that picture went viral all over Smart the place man. so we definitely want this Smart for man. sure Marvel please make it Happen yeah, just better than Ghostbusters it. and Ocean's 8. All right, <laughs> Rosalia did an interview with Billboard magazine where they were able to do fish for some answers, you know, to some of the personal questions. And Rosalia talked about her favorite style icon, how it was like to work with Penelope Cruz for Pedro Almodovar's new movie, Dolor y Gloria, which is pain and glory, and also <laughs> revealed which rapper she would love to collaborate with. Now, listen to this Rosalia says that she would love to work with, thank you, Nas. <laughs> Kanye West, yeah. <laughs> she told the magazine, Duh. I would love to write with him, produce with him, make music with him. It would be a dream come true. I love him. Uh. So, are we excited for a possible collaboration between Rosalia and Kanye West? Absolutely. Yes. Yes. I was confused when I watched that first, like, okay, who would you like to like, collab with? And she's like, I don't know if I can give it away. So I was like, wait, this is happening? <laughs> This is a real thing. And then she's like, oh, I would love to. You know, he's a genius. And I was like, wait, now I'm confused. Is it or is it not? So I really hope it is because they're two geniuses in their own ways. Rosalia is killing it in our world, and he's been killing it for a while in his world. And not only that, but I don't know if he's really dabbled in, like, the flamenco type of vibes. And I think that one's going to intrigue Kanye even more and maybe create some more magic that that we didn't know was possible. Yeah, big time. yeah, yeah, I agree. No, and I think she's such a unique artist that it's it'll be interesting to watch him making music with her and how that'll like mix in together. So I'm excited for that. I'm not mad at it. Mm -hmm. you know, I happy. can't wait for it because like the way I see it, when when you when we started talking about it, I was like, wait, they actually kind of like are similar in some ways in that, for example. Similar. Hello, <laughs> but let me finish. And then you say whatever. <laughs> uh, so Rosalia, for example has like she puts flamenco in whatever you make her sing yes. right? okay and what Kanye does is that whatever if it's rap or hip hop whatever he always puts something extra like out of the That's rap true. or the whatever norm hip -hop yeah style. he's very yeah. unique in his style. So it's like in that it's like I can see that happening, I and that would be that. amazing. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah, that would be amazing. <laughs> 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 now say whatever you want. Yeah, <laughs> that, that reaction, he's like, yeah. yeah that was no a reason. Reason. 
stage, but to that's the okay. Table. That's You're okay. like the starting the next Marvel movie. <laughs> like, okay. But I agree that it'll be incredible. How about that? <laughs> yeah. You know, I, I will say that, um, you know, there's other artists that have said that they want to work with Rosalia. Like, Madonna said yeah. that she wants to work with Rosalia. Yeah, she's so amazing. Yeah, like, but they want to work with Rosalia. Is she keeping Madonna on hold? That's my point. No. And then, and then you know, rumor has Stop. it that Beyonce also wants to work with Stop. Rosalia. Stop. I'll so, think. That could be huge too. I think. I think. Queen B with Queen Rosalia, with Queen Diosa. With Queen, Queen B with Adiosa. Exactly. It's so let's make that happen. I want Rosalia with, with pretty much everyone. Yeah. I mean, just as long as Rosalia's on it, we're down. Perfect. All right, guys, you know, so after the break, we'll have much more here on Latinx Now and La Rosalia. <laughs> that didn't come out. Right? No, that was good. That was good. That was good. Welcome back to Latin X Now. Well, we've been the entire week at the backstage of the Latin AMAs at the Dolby Theater, and we had a little confessional with all the celebrities, especially CNCO. Yes. So, check it out. CNCO! Yes! Estoy feliz que están aquí en el Latin AMAs. Estamos en el backstage. Y sabes que el Latin AMAs es celebrando la música latina. Así que es una fiesta. We party all the time. Y yo me puse a pensar, CNCO, Ustedes están viajando por todo el mundo que no disfrutaron como que el college life. Y por eso dije, you know what, voy a traer flip-flops hasta acá. Pero lo vamos a hacer con agua porque somos chicos saludables. Solo voy a llenar de agua. Ustedes ya saben cómo se ha vuelto con este juego, ¿cierto? Sí, sí, okay. sí, sí, yo nunca he llegado a un montón de ah, veces. Primera vez, primera vez. Sí, sí, sí. Pero cuéntame por ahora. Que no sabe qué es tequila, ¿verdad? Yo quiero saber un poquito mientras estoy eh, echando la agua. Cuéntame de qué, quiénes somos. ¿Qué quiénes somos? Uh -huh. Sí, sí, sí. Oh. sí, sí oh. Pues ¿quién es, que quiénes somos es nuestro nuevo EP que lo hicimos nosotros. Sí, sí, sí. Ahí eh, coproducido y con, cariño con, con otros compositores. Y está súper cool, estamos súper emocionados porque es como que sentimos que es muy de nosotros, entonces es como un regalo para todas esas personas que nos siguen. Eh, no, y van a estar presentando también este año en la Atenea Mays, ¿están felices? Sí, claro, muy felices. La, la verdad que siempre venir acá es un honor, siempre poder pisar el escenario con tantos compañeros que ya vimos allá, saludamos a Sayo, saludamos a, a Farruko, están súper chévere, estamos viendo el practicar. Y en verdad un poquito nervioso porque vimos con algo nuevo, algo, algo súper chévere, distinto. pero distinto, pero estamos listos. Bueno, yo sé que en ese escenario de Latin AMAs van a estar ganando, porque you guys are always winning, pero en este caso solo va a ser un ganador, o sea, equipo number one y equipo number two. O sea, es que... Número uno, número uno, número uno. ya saben la vuelta, va a ser Sadiel y mí, Chris y Joel, Eric y Richard, yeah. ¿ok? Yeah. El que pierda, el equipo que pierda, va a tener que hacer un reto, un dare, y si no quieren hacer el dare, pues hay consecuencias. So tienen que elegir entre estos dulces, jelly beans, y hay sabores que son ricos y hay otros que no son tan ricos. O sea, que cogemos el dare y si veo que es muy malo, uh -huh. no quiero hacerlo. Uh -huh. ah, okay. 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 Exacto. Okay. Okay. ¿Estamos como listos? Y si, Dale. Sí, como quiera. <laughs> ¿Preguntas? No, 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 ¿Everything's no, no, good? Yeah, yeah. Let's do this, guys. 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 Ok. ¿Y cómo, cómo quién cuenta? Solo vamos a hacer tank, tank ellos, y ellos, ellos okay. primero. Okay. Comenzamos. Nosotros. ¿Hay reloj, tiempo? No, 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 ellos primero, ¿no? Ya, no, es fácil. No, no, va a ser lo que está listo. Está listo, listo, listo. Está 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 listo. No, you guys need the cup. Don't oh, even touch it. Oh. You hear it, they go first, bro. Para atrás, para atrás. Hey, hey, hey. Ready? Set, one. Go. Two, three. Vamos. Okay. He doesn't see like five. Let's go. Go, go, go. Let's go, Joe. Come on, Joe. There we go. Oh, come on, Joe. Come on, Joe. Oh, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Yo, I was like, okay. Okay. Eddie Brown, okay. 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 La mafia, la mafia, la mafia, la mafia. Ahora, 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 ahora,
Bueno, chicos, aquí Yo. estamos el equipo Ay, perdedor. Uy, papá. So we're going to do dares, okay? Uy, you guys want to do a dare? Pero perdedores duran más. ¿Qué esto, ustedes esto, quieren? ¿Qué quieren? Dare or Jelly Bean? Dare, 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 d
a nuestro segmento New Music Drop, donde no le perdemos el rastro a todo lo que está sucediendo en el mundo de la música cada semana. Hoy tenemos a la gran cantante, modelo, compositora, bailarina y toca la guitarra. <risa> es argentina Emilia. Hola, ¿cómo están? Emilia está aquí, está lanzando su nuevo sencillo No Soy Yo, junto a Darel nominada a Nuevo Artista del Año y que se está presentando en vivo en los Latin American Music Awards. Bienvenido, Emilia. ¿Cómo estás? No, yo feliz de que estés aquí con nosotros. Yo sé que es tu primera vez en Latin AMAs. It's wow. your first time in Latin AMAs. Yes. ¿Cómo se siente? I'm so excited. Hey. Estoy muy emocionada. La verdad es que es, es como vos decís, mi primera vez. Uh -huh. Y ¿sabes lo que me pone nerviosa? La audiencia que va a estar. ¿En serio? Los artistas que yo he admirado desde toda mi vida eh, y que ahora voy a hacer mi performance con ellos, delante de ellos, así que eso me tiene yeah, muy ansiosa. All of those artists watching you, yeah. it's definitely scary. Yeah. Wow. For sure. Y cómo te sientes, qué fue lo que te motivó a salir como un artista solo? Like what motivated you to be a solo artist now? Eh, bueno, fue todo una decisión bastante complicada. Mm -hmm. Yo antes estaba en un grupo musical. Eh, obviamente tuve mis incertidumbres, mi miedo. Pero una vez que me puse a trabajar, dije, bueno, esto es para mí. Yeah. I can do that, I can do that. Claro. Entonces, eh, me puse a trabajar y estuve todo un año en, busca de, en búsqueda de canciones. Yo también compongo. Y cuando decidimos, bueno, la primera fue Recalienta. Uh -huh. eh, y ahora mi segunda, No Soy Yo, junto con Darel, que ya en un mes tiene casi 10 millones yes. de reproducciones. Wow. Así Todos que... Todos lo hemos visto. Yeah. Yeah. What's yours is yours. You know, I mean, you, if you know that you're a solo artist, it's like you just have to go for it. Yeah, like, That's very yeah. true. Okay. ¿Tienes alguna persona para colaborar así que sea como tu top, tu número uno? Like the first people, like the person that you can't not collab with. Like the, you have to. ¿Anglo o latino? De Como quiera. Yeah. Bueno, pero mira, te voy, a decir uno, uno, te voy a decir uno anglo y uno latino. Oh, that's eh, good, anglo yeah. te digo, Bruno Mars, mira, estoy, no. me fui. Bruno, Ajá, es claro. that's a good one. Bruno Mars. Dreams come true. No sé, no sé. <laughs> Lo sueño, Bruno, lo you're sueño. hearing this, right, Bruno? Because I know you watch Latin Latino. <laughs> Please. Um, y latino, bueno, me gusta mucho Zuna, la, uh, la Rosalía. Zuna. Ay, qué eh, claro. Admiro a muchos artistas, así que para mí es un placer, no sé. Bueno, mire, la verdad que, la verdad, para mí es súper increíble tenerte acá porque llevamos un año hablando de tenerte aquí en el show, en Latinx <risa> Now. Ay, um, pero, por favor, si ¿sí podemos compartir la historia de cómo o sea, formé parte de tu video, cómo, o sea, la historia detrás de eso. Oh, sí, no. You know, I'm really excited because, uh, again, We've been talking about you being on the show for like a year, right? <laughs> yes. So we're finally happening. But if we could share the story about how I ended up being on your music video, wow. I think that people could hear about That's that. That's crazy. Porque, nada, yo estábamos ya, fue como, como... ¿Destino? Eh, sí, no, y nos conocimos con Chris hace bastante ya. Eh, y somos como todos del mismo grupo, Joel, Pimentel, Johan Vera, bueno, Ori Sabatini. Y dije, bueno, este... Eh, Primero armamos el concepto de, de la canción y iban a ser tres chicos y, y, y habla de, de los tragos que te ponen loca y de las de excusas que usamos. <risa> que yo no tomo alcohol, debo decir. Nunca, Ay, sí. nunca. Nunca, Chris lo sabe porque nunca. salimos, pero... <risa> Entonces, ah, ok. Ah, 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 se ríe. Eh, no, no, pero estuvo súper divertido el rodaje. Eh, lo, llamamos a, a ellos y cuando les dijimos, sí, 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 obvio, queremos. Y vos llegaste a último. Sí, sí, fue no, como a último eh, momento, eh, así. Último, y lo pasamos súper bien, la y verdad. Y el increíble. video quedó increíble, así que si no lo Está súper chévere. Y no quiero actuó... invitar la próxima vez a las mujeres. Obvio, vamos todos. Ya, 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 no, y él actuó increíble, el Hello. barman. Él fue el, el que me emborrachó, así que ah, no me Culpa de Cristian. No, sí, sí. Emilia, gracias por estar con nosotros. Estamos locos por verte ahí en Latin AMA. Así gracias. que mucha suerte sí, y que no sea la sí. última vez que vienes a Latin no AMA. Y Volveré. ustedes, no se vayan por ningún lado porque aquí regresamos con muchísimo más en Latin AMA. Emilia, love you. Sí. Wow. Gracias por todo. Wow. Music Awards premieres tomorrow. We're so excited for the show, excited to see the artists, the performances, and we're eager to find out who on earth is going to win yeah. Artist of the Year. But before we get ahead of ourselves, it's important to know the facts of the 2019 Latin AMAs. And luckily for you guys, we've got all the information here, so check it out. Latin AMAs by the numbers. To begin, this is the fifth annual Latin American Music Awards. The AMAs give awards in 22 categories from tropical music, pop rock to urban and regional Mexican music, recognizing established talented artists as well as new figures. 
Osuna has nine nominations, which makes him the artist with the most nominations this year. After Osuna, there is Bad Bunny and the bachatero Romeo Santos, who each have eight nominations. Anuel AA comes after with seven nominations, and the guys from Banda MS have five, including the most coveted award of them all, Artist of the Year. There are 10 artists that are nominated for Artist of the Year, including diverse artists such as J Balvin, Banda MS, and Romeo Santos. In this category, there's only one woman nominated, Carol G. But don't worry, because if she doesn't win this award, Carol G is also nominated for Favorite Latina Artist. Talking about women, La Rosalia also has three nominations, just like Farruko, while Luis Fonsi has four. Guys, it's finally almost here. I'm excited. I saw Romeo's going. Oof. I'm excited. I'm excited. All day. This is, this is one of the few times where I'm like, I can't wait till tomorrow comes. Right? Oh. Can't wait for the red carpet looks. Oh my God, I'm excited for that. What are you guys wearing? Mm. It's no a one's secret. revealing that. It's like prom when you don't well, want to say your dress because you don't want nobody to I'm see I'm wearing my it. birthday suit. No, just uh. no, 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 no. Well, you guys, we cannot miss the lining of me tomorrow. It'll be live at 7, 6 Central on Telemundo. For sure, and you also can't miss us on social media, not just because of Latin Amy's, because we always have that best content for you. You already know. So guys, make sure to check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at LatinXNow. Guys, that's it. That's okay. it. Tomorrow. That's it for show days no, tomorrow. I'm running out right now. Miami, so. Okay, you can now really tell me the colors. Wait. What color? I'm actually wearing black. Me too. Yeah. I'm You're my date. I'm, I'm popping now. I'm done. I'm really gonna say the color. <laughs> Claudio's like no. Hey, if you like getting the top entertainment stories through the Latin lens, then mm. subscribe. We talk mm. everything from Rosalia to Beyonce. All the things. All the things. Subscribe. Press that button. Press it.